What's up, my people? What's up? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Buddha. So let's jump right into this real quick. Uh, ladies, uh, sisters in particular, why, why are you guys are fabricating these crazy numbers when y'all saying y'all want to meet a man? I, I get it. I get it. You all want to throw it out there. Why are you in front of a big audience, whatever, trying, I guess, trying to fish for the biggest fish. But you ladies coming up with the big numbers, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 1 million. He got to be making all this before you were dating. But you're single. I don't understand it. So this lady here comes on and says, well, a guy she needs uh, must make 200K. Yep, that's right, 200,000 a year. At least, he said, that's the bare minimum. So where are you going to find these type of men? So I guess she figures she'll find them on this talk show, right? Right. So that's where we at. So y'all buckle up and let's go and take this little ride down fantasy lane and see where this lady can find this $200,000 man. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all stand by, check it out, but make sure before we get it, hit that subscribe, like, share, and notification bell. Got it? Got it. So let's jump right into this thing, man. All right. So here we go. Let's see what we got. So we're back on the Kendra G show, right? Uh, let me sit in here for a little bit on this one. Y'all got to hear this stuff, man. Let's get it. Okay with protecting and providing, not being petty, you know, I don't want you to, I'm just going to say it. You cannot be that 50-50 dude. Don't, don't reach out to me because I, I just can't. I can't do it because I just don't believe in it. Hold up before we can get started on this thing. You ladies kill me with that don't be a 50-50 man. You're single, which means you're paying all your bills by yourself. Not even talking about if you got some sugar daddy dropping in here and there, paying her, your hair, nails, whatever that crap. But basically, you're responsible for all your bills right now. So even if a man has come through and said, yeah, I'll help you out. You tell him you're going to turn that down? Is that what you're saying? Because that's what she's saying. So some help is better than no help. So I always hear women say, I don't want no 50-50 man, whatever. 50-50 is better than 100-0. Just saying, people. I'm just saying. Don't get mad at me. Um, does this man have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, yes. You have to. Here we go. I would say at least, at least, I would say at least 200K a year. Delusional at its best. This don't make no sense. Okay, at least 200K a year. So you normally date men that make 200K a year, I'm assuming. No. More. Yeah. Then what's going on with those men? Like I said, a lot of them, uh, well, my last relationship, he kind of like was crazy and he wanted to make something like open. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with that. And that um, was a relationship or dating? Yeah, he wanted to date other people. And I'm like, I'm not open to that at all. So you want a 200K handsome man um, that is faithful and only will be with you. That's that's the, what we're asking yes. for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you said you've never had this man. No, I've never had a sexy man, Kendra. Like somebody with a nice body. So you had okay. So so you had a two a you. So you had a two hundred k man. Oh, I had, I had more than that. So to understand my history, 
So I I was in like two long term relationships. Both of those men were well off, way over two hundred k, right? And I at the time when I was younger in my thirties, I found out later that I was afraid of commitment. So I okay, let's freeze that for a minute, ladies. Understand this. When you were younger, 25, 30, I'll say even 22 to 30. Yeah, you probably could find that if you was a nice, it's like she might have been a good, nice looking woman. She's still not a bad looking woman. Yeah, you can pull those rich guys. But see, she probably in her 40s now, late 40s. They're not coming. Or you're going to have to change a lot to get them. And that's the thing. You don't want to change. So you're going to have to because you got to give them this program. But when you're younger, that's when you can pull them. You can't say, okay, I still want the dudes I was getting when I was 25 and 30 years old. That would be like me sitting there saying, well, I want the women I could still pull at 20, 21. No. I think if I flash some money, I might be able to get them, but shit. But just brawl, just trying to, no, nobody looking for no old dude. Not unless I got that, that cheddar, you know what I'm saying? So it don't work the same for ladies. I'm sorry, it just don't. And so this lady is, uh, she ain't for a rude awakening. That's all I can say. I didn't marry them. So my last relationship that I had, the long-term one, that was like real love, like, and I loved him to death. He loved me to death. I just was afraid to get married. I didn't understand why until I got into therapy. Now, that's the truth. If I make you a highlight, there will be conversation about your 200K request. And some people will say that that is a delusional request. What would you say to that? Um... I don't know if it's delusional or not. It just depends on the person and what they believe and what their circles yeah, are like. I can say so thing. I don't think it's, it's delusional at, at all. I think 200K is really reasonable. Um, okay. If 200K is reasonable, why you do not have a $200,000 man? Now, she said when she was younger, 30s at 30. She didn't say 30 today when I was 30. Um, she met is in some long-term relationship with some guys, so probably 25, 30. They had that chatter. But since you've gotten older, you haven't had those dudes come through. So I want y'all to pay attention how they think because I'm in the company, because they're clients, that I'm in on their level. So that's what a lot of people think because I'm around you because it's work or work events that I'm on that level. But if you were, then you would be getting the guys. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't be on this show talking about I'm ready to find my 200K plus man. I'm just saying. Um, and that's not delusional especially if you're an entrepreneur and you're at some level of success in your business you don't even need to be very very successful to get two hundred thousand dollars a year as an entrepreneur most of the time most entrepreneurs because i deal with entrepreneurs all the time that's probably why that's my reality so a lot of my clients they're bringing in that like easy well, that, like that's let me say this if you're around a pool of men that made 200k and more you should be talking to them and not me. Not single. Not single. Do you see? This is some BS. You telling me all your clients that got that cheddar are in a deep relationship or married? They ain't trying to step out and holler at you or nothing. So I quick. They not. They not single. They not. They not. No, that's BS. They got friends. Most of the time, you're like, well, hook me up with one of your friends, your single friends. Isn't that how it go? But see, those men come in there, they see you, and they're not trying to put you on. And that way you need to ask, like, so what's going on with these men? They can work with me, they can talk to me, but nobody's trying to get with me. 
If I was a woman, I'd be wondering, it's like, damn, I'm around all these rich ass dudes, but nobody's trying to ask me out. What do I need to be doing? Do I need to get in the gym? Do I need to fix my personality, get my hair changed, you know, tighten my body? What what I need to do? You know what I'm saying? Not jump on a talk show and try to manifest a, a rich man like most of you try to do. But where is she falling short? That's what she need to find out. I think that's what the problem is. You've never been married, Akila. Do you want to get married? Is that your goal? I do. What qualities make you a wife? I'm going to light your business up. But <laughs> we're going to clean your credit up. I'm going to get you Girl, funded at least 250000 who gonna clean up the credit? He making two hundred plus, and you gonna clean his credit up? Like a husband, this sounds like a, a a coworker or somebody within your company. Do you no. want a husband or do you want a man that can go along with your business plan? Oh no, I want to help him out. So I'm gonna make but sure he's financial. Safe. But if a man comes to you that's already making two hundred k, you don't need your out, girl. He boom. And I know I'm stopping everybody. Oh, let it go, let it go. Man, it's a short video. It's just a little clip. But I'm trying to make some points in here. That if he already making that type of money, he don't need your help. And see, this this tells me that she's lying about the people that the men that she's around. Because if you were around those men that made that type of money, you would already know I don't need to fix your credit. I don't need to try to put you on and make you better. He's already rising. So what are you going to do? I mean, what what you going to do? He already in the right places he need to be if he's making 200 plus on up. You're used to guys not making that much. That's why the first thing come out your mouth is I can fix him. I can make it better. Stop lying to yourself. You're trying to manifest a rich guy, hey, more power to you. But just be honest with yourself. You ain't seen one of these dudes since you were 30 years old. You're probably, like I said, you're probably in your late 40s now, and you're not seeing them. You want them again, but you blew your chance when you was in your 30s because you thought it could be something more out there or you was too young to hang in no committed relationships. Like you said, I was afraid of commitment then. What change? Bills and loneliness? Probably so. Probably so. Let's see what else you got, 200K lady. He got, if you're making more, you say That's you true. you say you date men that make 200K or more. They That's don't need no help. They <laughs> already come ready. So if you want to be a wife, how are you going to be his wife? Okay, he okay. don't need you to build up. Okay, That's the okay. problem. Hold on real quick. You are a boss chick, and I respect yeah. that. I, I mean, I'm. Why did she start bouncing around? Let's see if I can take that back. Why did she start? Okay, okay. That's the okay. problem. Hold on real quick. You are a boss chick, and I respect yeah. that. I, I mean, I'm surrounded <laughs> by them, around them all day yeah. long. But I think what boss chicks don't understand is there's a difference in being a boss chick in your career than being a wife to your home. You can't tell me you want this affluent man and then say, I want to fix your credit. I want to build you up. Girlfriend, he got that already taken care of. What can you do as his wife? <laughs> okay, so that, that's the end. I'll just Okay go. with protecting and providing. Okay, and uh, like I said, that's the end of it. It was just a short clip. And I was just getting it because Kendra was getting on this girl because she actually thought she's going to come in there and BS her way to a rich man. If he already have his stuff together, he don't need somebody to fix his credit and help him with his entrepreneurship or whatever. And a lot of these women thinking they're the, they're the only ones that are making money. These men in corporate America, they are making money. And they reporting to people higher and higher and higher. They may have an extended schedule, but they are working for a company. So they're not entrepreneurs. Now, there are entrepreneurs doing it, but some of them are. They work in corporate America. So ladies, y'all can count yourselves out thinking that these dudes aren't making it. But if a man coming in and making 300000 working for this Fortune 500 company, what you going to say?
oh, you got to, oh, you got to uh, check in with somebody, whatever, and don't, whatever that crap y'all do. But uh, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. No, 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 no. Well, well, guys, that's all I got on this. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh, 200K man thing. Is it something real or is it some BS? I think it's more BS. Y'all trying to manifest these rich dudes. It's not happening. It's not happening. Not but I got to get up out of here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share on your way out. And it is your boy once again. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.